Today we're checking out what is unique about Torrance, California. everybody, Shane Inman here, local real estate agent in Southern California, helping families move here from all over the world. And uh, so on this channel we go over everything about the South Bay and uh, moving here and what to do here and where to go. And so if you're looking at moving to Southern California and the South Bay, feel free to call or text or email me. I have people reaching out all the time and it's always great to hear from people and it's never too early to get started in your search. All right, so today I am here at Entradero Park and uh, so you can probably hear the geese in the background here um, and you know this park has baseball fields and it's got about a 800 meter or 1000 meter walking loop around the park um, so I use this park uh, with the high school team I coach and they come here and run around the park uh, there's a lot of people that come out walking and so it's a it's a big outdoorsy area you get people that uh, bird watch here and um, so that's just one of the unique aspects of Torrance is just the outdoor experience you can have here so the homes in this that border this park uh, we're gonna check out one today basically the homes up above on the hillside of the park they backyards border the park and so you get a view of the park you got um, access right outside your door to go for a walk and take the kids to the park and so uh, Torrance has over 40 parks and so with 40 parks in your town you've got a lot of options to do plus we're close to the beach and you know hiking trails and different things so the outdoor lifestyle is something that I think um, is very unique to Torrance where you can have trails you can have beach life um, all in one aspect or one spot. The homes in this area are part of the West Torrance School District so you know it's pretty close to West High School and so you get tucked away in the little neighborhood here but then you also have lots of options for getting outdoors so like I said you've got Entradero Park, you've got uh, Sunny Glen Park, lots of little parks nearby, you've got a mile to the beach uh, so if you want to just go hiking or walking along the beach or want to spend the day out on the water surfing or playing volleyball or just hanging out um, you've got options and so I think that's something that just really makes Torrance unique in that you're close to the beach but you're kind of tucked away in a neighborhood and then you also have options for just being outdoors at a park or um, spend the day with the family. Uh, we actually uh, rent the, uh, some of the parks here for my daughter's birthday in the years past. We've had birthday parties at some of the parks. You just go on to the city website and reserve it um, pay a fee for using the park for the, uh, the day or the, the period and you can uh, rent uh, the picnic table areas and different spots so um, you know you've got bigger parks that you know you can go running around and hiking taking the dog for walks and you've got smaller parks just for um, you know getting on the playground with the kids or playing sports or anything so lots of little options um, throughout Torrance. And another unique aspect of Torrance, well, maybe not unique to uh, Southern California, but unique to areas outside of uh, Southern California, is uh, that, you know, the homes were built in the 50s and 60s, and they might just have kind of a smaller uh, square footage and smaller floor plan. So um, if you're looking for kind of a bigger home, um, you may not find what you're looking for unless it's been remodeled. Uh, this home that we're gonna go take a look at today was actually, um, you know, remodeled and had some, uh, an addition put on, so the upstairs was, added to it and so it's got a kitchenette upstairs which is nice gives it kind of a mother-in-law suite with uh, you know bedroom and bathroom and kitchenette upstairs and living room uh, it also you know it's it's got kind of an older style to it with uh, you know wood siding walls uh, through the throughout the interior and um, brick throughout the home so uh, definitely has a unique look that you know is a specific buyer but with how competitive the market is right now um, it's actually very likely that this home will have already sold by the time this video comes out um, so you know it's good to pay attention to the market and see how competitive things are right now things are very competitive where properties are coming on the market on a Thursday or a Friday and then open houses through the weekend and then Monday and Tuesday offers are due so um, you know it's important to pay attention to the market and see uh, where where things are at all right so let's go check out this home 
So uh, walking up, you know, you're uh, walking into the main level of the home and you've got, uh, you know, the downstairs, as I mentioned, was uh, the original floor plan of the home. Uh, they also built out on an extra living room off of the kitchen, give it a little extra space. They put that in when they uh, made the addition to the upstairs. And so, as I mentioned before, the bedrooms, you know, um, kind of smaller just because you've got a, um, you know, original footprint on the downstairs. And then as you walk through the downstairs and through the bedrooms, uh, you come to the back side where the bedroom was. Um, connected off of the garage is now where they opened up to the upstairs and added uh, the upstairs and so um, what's great about the upstairs is you also have this amazing view of the park right off of the balcony. Thank you for checking out my video. I'm Shane Inman with Remax Estate Properties and on this channel we cover everything real estate, running, and community. So if you're interested in checking out more videos please be sure to subscribe. Thanks.